you know, don't think of it as backtracking, but think of it like watching a nostalgic movie all about your childhood, except this isn't really a childhood game of mine, it's more like childhood is in past things you've done. Save over the phallus. Let's go. Okay, now, can we please get some light? Actually, I think this is where I mentioned the fish hole. Do 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 do. Oh, that'll be something I can take off my map. That'll be handy. Okay, um, what's in here? Let us find out. Um, a strange item. Don't think it does anything, but it's strange. Got a treasure. Okay, anything else? Another tunnel. Jeez, these fish tunnels go everywhere. This area is very quiet. Um. Oh, this is where the boss was. Okay. Well, if I go through there, where will that take me? Because now I I know where I'm going now. This is good. Okay, we can get rid of fish tunnel. Get rid of fish tunnel. There we go. We can get rid of that fish hole because I know what that does now. Get rid of it. There we go. Thank you. Now, let us find our find our next area. Ooh, is the body gonna still be here? Didn't really do a good job at decaying. Okay. Now, let's go get the useful thing. I think we need to go grab the bud. Um, is it in the same area? Yeah, it is. It's all the way at the top. Of course it is. Back and forth, back and forth. That's what I'm really good at doing. Um, at least we have fish form, though. That makes everything a lot faster. I swear, if we were still in nausea form, this would take a lot longer. <laughs> but fishy fish, fish, fishy fish, fish. That's what they say in fish language. Actually, I have no idea. Naja speaks a language that no one even talks. Or at least no one anymore. Because everybody she knows is dead. That's not really a joke anymore. That's that's offensive, I'm sorry. Let's keep going! Boop, boop. I like the music here. Don't like it as much as the kelp forest. But all the music in this game is quite fabulous. Boop, 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 boop. The place I really can't wait to get to is the next year in the game, actually, because the dungeon there is super cool. Um, that's why I'm very anxious, and the fact that I hate backtracking. Because I'm impatient! Um, energy, there we go. And turn this on. I think this will be another... Did I save when I came into here? I think I did. Um, this guy's not too bad, though. Oh, jeez. Crap. Um, there's a very, very scary voice. There it is. This is like... I can't remember what it's called. It's like, it's some form of blaster. It would be really handy if we got rid of all the other ones, though. Because these things are just filling the screen up with bullets. But we will get something very useful from fighting this boss. Or kind of more so mini boss. Really, the guys we've been fighting aren't really bosses. They're just slightly annoying obstructions that we happen to run into. Come over here, super blaster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's a very bad shot. I mean, I know I got hit a few times. I say that as I get hit, but he the, he has missed the majority of his shots. Please do not die, though, Naja. That would be very unpleasant, as I don't like walking to the same spot again and again. Um, Jesus, oh Pete, he's got a lot of health. Will you, will you die? I mean, I know that's a little demanding, but please. I'm just trying to get to the next area. And I just need you to get out of my way for me to do that. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a terrifying voice. Now, we need to grab this. Blaster pet! This is the most useful pet in the game, in my opinion. I think it does the most damage, or is at least the most effective. So this will be useful, as it will help us out like in many a fight. So let us go, Blaster pet. Let's go take on some new, new adventure. Um... I guess the fish. I guess the fish song is m very memorable since it's got four, but that's also more to remember. I don't know. What am I talking about? I'm rambling now. But backtracking's over. Finally, yes. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Now let's start going to the next area of the game. I really did not enjoy that. Okay, let's find a save point so I don't have to worry about doing any of that junk again. Save point. 
and we're gonna save here. We've only played for like three hours. It's a lot. I thought we'd we'd have played more by now, maybe less. I really don't know. <laughs> anyway, we need to find our turtle friend and start heading on over to the next area. Which is really cool in my opinion. It's got really pretty music and it's really, really pretty. And the dungeon's awesome. And we meet a really interesting plot device. Everything's interesting there. Oh, and there's... Oh, gosh darn it. I remember that dungeon too and there's a very interesting secret that we can access in it that will further do things for the plot and help us understand what the hoo-ha is going on. But it, it is a pain to get to. I remember it vividly and oh my goodness. Did it suck getting that stupid plot device? And I say plot device because really you have to earn them in this game. You have to find them. The significant ones you always have to search out. And this one, boy oh boy was it a pain to get to. <laughs> That's still funny. <laughs> um, well this will take us to the kelp forest which is where we do not want to be. Unless it's close to... No, it is not close to where we're going. Hi ho silver! <laughs> I really, really want that to be the like the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> Just running, riding our turtle, riding our turtle off. Oh crap! I'm just gonna go around. There, there is no point in bothering with that. Okay, so we're back in home waters. It's finally time to do something useful, even though we have been doing useful things. But this will be very useful, as it will progress the story. I've done nothing in this recording session to pro progress the story th so far, so this will be very, very fun for me. <laughs> let's p let's please do it. Let's at least go to the new area, because like it's been a few hours and I need to work on things. Hello, strange being that I killed. I hope you I really hope he's forgiven me, because really he looks like a nice individual. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, but okay. Well, I haven't been here yet, so this is a little confusing. Ooh! I'm gonna kill you! I know that sounds violent, but he's gonna give me useful things! Oh, he's also in pain. I forgot about that. Get over here. Die, sir. Give me your... Well, you didn't give me swordfish meat. I mean, that would have made something useful. But since I guess you don't want to participate, sir, that's fine. Donate your body to science. There we go, swordfish meat. Now, when we get the recipe, that will be a really useful thing to make, or, or have at least, as it makes very useful things. Um, I think I would try using it in a cake right now, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't want to, like, risk losing that item, because it is very handy. Having fun over the eel, running into the wall? My goodness. Don't shoot him, he's doing nothing to you, Blaster. These bright waters were warm and terrifying. The thought occurred to me that I'd reached the end of the world. What if all that awaited me was a blazing inferno? Though my mind was terrified, my heart longed to venture further. Naja, you are a thrill seeker. You are a brave individual. Now let's go further, into the light. I guess this would be frightening for someone who lives at the bottom of the ocean for years. Ah, uh, and here we go, new music. We have begun to come into a new area. The Veil. Welcome to the Veil, one of my favorite areas in the game. I know I said this about like the kelp forest, but this area is actually, I mean this area isn't annoying, this area is really cool. The kelp forest is cool too, and I like it, but it's like, annoying. <laughs> this area is really groovy, and oh jeez, I forgot there are a lot of things that will shoot at me, but um, this place is cool. I guess I didn't need to get the plan, the spirit thing to get up here. I thought that when I first, uh, when I first uh, tried to get get here, but I guess guess I didn't. That's a little embarrassing. Like five episodes ago or whatever. I really don't know. Um, since I haven't been separating the episodes, like with a hey guys and a bye guys, because I'm doing it in one recording session. It's a lot easier for me to do these things in sets, just because like if I don't. Ow, that was a lot of noise. But um, if I if I don't, it's hard to like start fraps and and close it again. Now, with all technical things aside, let's start enjoying the veil. This area is really pretty. I would just like to say. Um, once we actually reach the top, 
the top is the prettiest. And by the name, you might be able to tell now that we are coming towards the surface. The veil, as it would be. The veil between the underwater life and the upper water life. Or the surface people life. I don't know. But yes, this place is a very important place in the game. It's very cool. One of my favorite areas. I've said that a bunch. Oh, and look at how freaking huge it is. I really forgot. I forgot that. The veil is very large. It also overlaps with Murgog's Cavern, which I don't know why. I guess it's how things were laid out in the map, but that's kind of amusing. Ow! If you die, Naja, right after getting in the new area, after I've been like, oh, it's not annoying at all, this place is awesome. If you die, I would be very upset. Ooh. However, we want to be like this, because we can... We... It's cool. It's really groovy. The first taste of air. The warm embrace of the sun on my back. The wind flowing beneath me. I'd cross through the veil. For too many years I've been smothered beneath the surface, blind to the beauty of terror. Ooh, what the hoo-ha? Um, there's a diver down here. Sir, hello. I just like went through a really cool thing where- Yo, hey. Hey, buddy. Buddy, I need to talk to you. Okay, so a lot of mysterious things have happened all of a sudden. I mean, we crossed the veil. It's a very, very important moment in our life. And now we've met some strange diver. What is going on? Ooh, this area does not have a name. Oh my. Uh, where are you going, friend? I guess he's friendly. He hasn't tried to kill us yet like everything else, so... Maybe it's finally, finally someone we can interact with. I finally cornered this strange looking creature. He tried to flee from me again, but my curiosity was too great to allow his escape. He seemed to be trapped in an odd looking shell. Perhaps if I removed it... Remove it, gosh darn it! I was surprised to find that underneath this boy's shell, he had a face not unlike my own. A face that seemed... familiar. Without knowing what I was doing, I floated forward, pressing my lips against his. A tune leapt to my throat, one embedded deep within my memory. The verse flowed through me, and bound itself around us. Hours, days, perhaps seconds passed. I'd lost all concept of time. There was only the verse. And... Lee. His name rang in my head. This creature was called Lee. We were so similar, and yet... not. I was intrigued. The verse waned slowly. And we drifted apart until nothing but water flowed around us. Lee gazed at me through half-closed eyes. He seemed at peace. My mind faded. Slowly, I awoke. For a moment, I had no idea where I was. Lee returned, and I remembered. It was odd to think that I was not the only person left alive. I was aware of every flaw in my appearance. I felt exposed. Color rose to my cheeks and I struggled to hide my shame. My connection to Lee allowed him to exist within the waters without his awkward shell. It had also given him a new appetite for the creatures of the water. As we ate, I could tell he was excited with his new abilities. We realized that we'd both ventured out to find answers. We left that place knowing that together, we would be able to explore further than either of us could on our own. The first time in all my memory, I was not alone. Oh, I can force him to put his head thing on and off again. That's a little funny. Anyway, 
Welcome to the weirdest plot change in the entire game. We get a love interest. This mysterious human guy, named Lee, once again unexplained by the other uh, game, uh, has shown up. And I... He's some researcher, I think. From the looks of it here. Because there are boxes and stuff everywhere, and there's like this weird symbol on all the boxes. Again, it's the game not making any sense. Um... But at least now we have someone to yell at. <laughs> an, an NPC that I can take my anger out on. Um, but yeah, he's some mysterious guy. Dreamy individual, right? That, uh, yeah, he just happened to float into our life. And, uh, we made out with him underwater, and now he can breathe without a helmet. Say hello to Lee! He is vaguely important. Actually, he's very important. He will be following us through the rest of the game. All of it. I'm fairly certain all of it. So let's go, Lee. He's actually pretty helpful. Um, but he is talking combat mode. I don't. I don't remember ever using that. Um, oh, it's shaped like an L. That's how I can remember. Oh, he just shoots things for. Me. Okay, that's handy. He'll shoot things more because I remember like when I would play the game, he'd float around and do nothing. I guess that's why because I'm a complete. <laughs> I'm a complete moran. My goodness. Okay, but yeah, we've met Lee. That is significant. And that's pretty good. Now, let's- oh jeez. Um, I'm gonna mess around the veil a bit, because there's a lot of really fun things you can do here. Like, climb the islands and whatnot. It's very, very fun. In my opinion, at least. Oh, hey! It's a rock with a face! He just kinda- <laughs> That was amused. Oh, it's a treasure! Oddly shaped rock has been added to your inventory. Oh boy. Um, let's Lee get over here. My goodness, I, I need you around me. Also, I if you stand too still for too long, they'll just start like holding each other awkwardly in the middle of nothing. And I guess it's sweet and whatnot, but it's a little awkward. I mean, hug yourself on your own time. <laughs> but yeah, oh jeez, you inked me, you sucker. Take him out, Lee. But yeah, love and trust. Interesting. Now, let's head to the other side of the veil. You know, I wonder, like, how- what he would be thinking when we took off that helmet, because basically we were drowning him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the only solution is to make out with him instead of save his life. Actually, I guess she did, because, like, Okay! Magic Dragon of the Sea? <laughs> Thanks! You can also do this, like, you can't really walk, I don't know why, because you have legs, but- we much, we much more prefer jumping. Ooh, turtle! You're gonna save my life many a times! Thank you very much! Wow, a lot of good things are happening. Once I got all that backtrack done, everything just, like, picked up. Okay, so, we need to find the next dungeon in the game, which I don't really know where it is. I mean, I have a vague understanding. But we're gonna have to look around for it. Um, there's like a lot of weird things in the veil that you can mess with. It's a really cool place, that's why I, like, it's one of my favorite areas in the game. Um, is this the octopus cave? No, no, it's the turtle cave, because it's got turtles in it. What the hoo-ha. Yeah, there's this one cave that's like the octopus cave, and it's got another mini-boss in it. An octopus, if you would believe. And, uh, I actually have no idea how to fight it. Um, I remember, like, I would encounter him a bunch of times, and I could never beat him. Maybe I beat him once. Can't remember. But anyway, welcome to the Turtle Cave. Here, you can kill turtles if you want to, and, uh, ple please yourself in the sick manner that that is. Or, uh, you could go to this very strange area. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, there's this big area that I can go. Um, you're not tricking me. Look like you want to eat my face, my gosh. Um, but yes. I just had a long pause for no good reason. My gosh, I'm really good at doing that. Um, but we're going to need to go to this new area. I don't know if we'll be able to do what we're going to do in this new area either. Or, uh, like that other section of the map. Because there is an item that is fi- Oh, hello. Are you aggravated with me? I hope you're not, because you look very old and, uh, kind of nice. I don't want to aggravate you, Miss Turtle. Or Mr. Turtle. Whoever you might be. Whatever gender of you. 
Oh my. Ah, stop it. There's like some invisible force pushing me. Set it down, Naja. My gosh. But yes, I've been rambling a lot. The set. Um, that had nothing to do with what I was saying. What is this? Oh, we're gonna steal a baby. You got a treasure. I guess it's a treasure to some people. <laughs> oh my. Uh, that's, yeah, you're, uh, Naja, you're taking the term too literally. Yes, lots of people call babies treasures to them, but uh, not in that kind of way. You can't just run up and take someone's baby. It's kind of cool how you can climb the waterfall. Um, let's switch to beast form. There we go. Um, I don't know how that works at all. Like, there's water spawning out of nowhere. Take this monkey. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. E I'm going to eat you. Oh, oh, you've bested me today, monkey. You will... Ah! 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 Yes! Did I eat him? My entire goal in life is to eat this monkey. Ooh, sounds, sounds like someone's yelling for me. I will be right there. 